Who's good, Potato? Spin the leak here, and it's time for a movie review I've been looking forward to. The 2018 version of Papillon. Oh, so I reviewed the 1970s one not too long ago. It was a recommendation from Shani Von Hoodhauser. Haven't heard from you recently. Hope I said your name right. Hope I remembered it. And I loved the 1973 version. And I've taken into, con into consideration that this would have to be suitable for a modern audience, so a lot of things have definitely changed. Just a brief refresher. Papillon is a story of escape. Uh, Pappy is arrested for a murder he did not commit, and he is sent to French Guiana to serve out a life sentence. On the way there, he is hired uh, by Louis Degas as his own personal bodyguard who would then attempt to escape with him. Many more are included. This is a movie based off of a book, which was a memoir of... I can't remember the guy's actual name. Okay, yeah, that sounds, that sounds reasonable. Now let's talk about some changes. There was a lot of stuff cut out of the movie because a modern audience wouldn't enjoy it, or because it was too cumbersome, or because including it would take too much time. There was a lot more action added to the movie. Uh, let's do some small examples. The guillotine, guillotine only saw action one time in the film. In the 1973 version, it saw action roughly three or four times. And that's on bits of wood, that's on people, blah, blah, blah. You only see it used once in this film. Uh, the Originally, Pappy attempted to escape the first time around by hiring a butterfly collector, someone who purchased butterflies from the convicts, in order to escape. In this movie, the guy was a pimp. Fair enough. It's still the same time period, but, you know, whatever. Uh, apparently, apparently, selling sex is more interesting than a bunch of grown-ass men hunting butterflies in the woods. That's fine. They completely omitted uh, the deal with the leper encampment. Winston, what do you want? This little fucker's right. He's just chilling in my doorway. What? What do you want? Christ. Another thing, uh, there was a lot more action on the boat. See, originally, the group was four. One got left behind. One, no, two were captured. And Pappy reached land alone. Now, this time around, he reached land with... With Louis and... I can't remember the other guy's name. I, I literally just watched the movie. Uh, this character never really strikes me as that one important. Winston, what do you want to add? Okay. So, whenever whenever Pappy lands in Colombia, you done? Motherfucker. I locked Winston out of the room. Whenever Pappy lands in Colombia originally, uh, the remaining two of the group are captured, and he ends up getting taken in by a local tribe. He lives with them for a few months, years, you know, whatever, lives among them. Eventually they move on, and he finds his way to a monastery, where he is then apprehended. Yeah. In this movie, you're there with the natives, he wakes up in their village, and I know where it none just comes out and goes, Oh, you want to repent and all this shit? And I'm not cool with that. That, that I didn't like. I could, go, I could go on for a long time about all the stuff that they changed around, the important question is, did I like this movie? Yes, I did like this movie. But I prefer I prefer the 1970s version. I want to read the book. I, it, it's fun, it's modern, but it doesn't hold a candle to the original one that I saw. And it, the, the older one held up. This, the, this cut a few corners. It's still an excellent movie, and I am going to give it the same exact rating. Five potatoes. I'm not going to go into detail with anything else. I definitely recommend that you guys check it out. Shani, I hope you're happy with this. If you guys enjoyed this movie review, go ahead and leave a like. You know, mash that fucking like button. If you disagreed with me, post a comment. I want to hear what you have to say. I, I want you to point something out, or maybe we could talk more in depth about the movie. I am way open for that. Like, comment, subscribe. Keep on keeping on, and I'll see you in the next video.